What's going on guys, it is Zara's HD here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today um, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a Overwatch banner in Photoshop. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, it's because I moved house and uh, I didn't have, I, didn't, I couldn't get up my computer but I finally got it up and I couldn't do any Xbox videos and I didn't know what to do so I didn't do any videos. <laughs> I'm sorry but I will do more videos, that's probably the longest time I've never, um, never been uploading. But, um... Yeah, well, I'm back, um, but I'm just going to get into the video because no, none of you guys want to hear this really. Um, so basically when you when you start, I'm going to do File New, um, call this whatever you want, I'm going to call it Tut for tutorial. Um, the width should be 2560, height 1440, and they should both be on pixels. Um, you can copy out the rest if it's not the same, I would keep it like this. Make sure the background contents are transparent as well. Now press OK and once you've done that, um, you sh need to get in your picture for your you know background and I've got um, um, this thing here called a, a banner template which you can just copy the image um, go into Photoshop and edit paste and it will, should fit in perfectly uh, if it's not um, just like scale it to there and also make sure that your canvas is actually 2560 1440 and whilst you're like this um, you want to go over to view rulers and make sure you've got rulers on and then you've got snap on uh, I don't think that matters we're going to create a new guide and make it a vertical one press OK and it's dragged in a thing here and you can move this to wherever you want it to go just drag it and I'll, uh, we need to drag it to this first line here now I'm going to go view new guide, vertical again, and you want to carry on the sequence for all these lines here. Make it as neat as you can, um, you want a good setup for when you're doing your banner. But let's just carry on, you know, one here, uh, view, new guide, again, uh, all the way, oh, that didn't work. Take it all the way across here. And then we've got that, and we're going to do view, new guide, and then click horizontal and then just uh, drag it down to this line and then repeat that horizontal and put it down here. Now we can delete, um, we can create a new layer here and just delete this one here because we don't need it. So as you can see we've got the blue lines here which will show us um, this area here is mobile, this whole area here is tablet, and this whole area here is desktop like you know computers PCs and all that. Now we're going to get in our first image um, called Overwatch. Um, just type in Overwatch map and then you can find whatever you want. Um, I think this one looks one of the nicest so copy the image or you can save it. Depends what you want to do. Um, edit, paste and then once you're selected on this press um, Windows button T and drag drag it to um, the edges holding shift as well so it doesn't go out of proportion and then when you press it down you know you've got a nice picture of a map here um, yeah it's all good so now we're going to get in our uh, um, our kind of colors and all that and our black bars so we're going to come up to here and click rectangular marquee and you want to make sure your color here is on black um, you know, I can. I've already got black here. Do that. Um, hold shift. We well, don't have to hold shift. Just hold down and drag all the way across the whole document or the canvas. Come down to here where it says filter, um, and also create a new layer down here. Just this new layer, and press on the screen. Now it should go all go black. Up to here, go select, deselect, and then back on the marquee tool and. Put your mouse on this blue line here and then drag it all the way to this bottom blue line and then press backspace and it should come out um, just like this. And if you're not happy with the, the selection of like what you can see, you can always move it up and down. Um, I think this looks nice. Now we've got our image here, we've got the black bars here. You can always rename these to whatever you want, but I don't want to do that just for now. Um, now we are going to do our kind of our colours. Um, so you want to go over to your paintbrush and 
Maybe you've got your paintbrush here. If you don't, if you don't see these, by the way, hold down on them. And if you see any of these, you know, if it's on like, if you see like one of these, hold down on it and then press brush. Then that's the same with the paint bucket. It should be one of these, um, depending on if you've used these before. Now we're going to pick a few colours out. Depends what colour you want, want to do, really. Um, I like blue. Um, I think most of you know that I like blue, so going to get a nice blue colour here. Um, make sure I'm on the paintbrush as well. Come up to here and change the size to about 1,500, I'd say. Seems like a good size. Um, let's get that on there. Yep, about 1,600, doesn't really matter. Then get the hardness on zero and you should basically be ready to go. So we're going to create a new layer. Um, make sure this, these black bars are always on top of the layer. We're going to make one in between here. You can always drag them like this. And we're going to make like a kind of click kind of blue and you can see it does the blue. You can fiddle around with like all this stuff but for now you can just go like that and then you've got like a nice blue. If you don't like that change the opacity down a little bit and you've got like a, a blue fade here and now you can change to like a darker variation of that colour so maybe a dark blue here and just press that in and you've got like these nice lights here um, which look pretty cool it just adds a kind of an effect to it and, it, and I, I like the look of it um, so we've got that in there and we can also add a light not really a light but you can change your colour to a white and then just like maybe change the size of this like some massive and then just get a nice little light at the top of that um, if it's too like strong you can like go up a little bit more but I think it just adds a little bit of an effect and, it, and I like the look of it um, if you don't like the look of it always toggle around with it just just play with it now I'm going to add in our player I guess so I've got a Overwatch Hero here that I typed in. I've got McCree here, but make sure you type in Overwatch Hero PNG, which means it's got like a transparent background. Um, so it's like see through basically. Um, I've already saved this image, so I've got McCree. Drag in your image. Um, I don't think you can't really copy it, but. Yeah, we've got that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we've got our character here, and he doesn't really blend in with the style of, you know, what it's supposed to look like. So you can make this around wherever you want it, and go to our blending options, which is kind of the stuff we want to do. Um, there's loads of stuff here. Strokes usually work. Um, you can change this to, like, any colour you want, like a nice blue, or maybe it's just a plain black or white, plain white, you know. I think the white looks pretty clean on this because we've got the, like, the white here, so I think I'm going to do that. You can also play around, I don't see why not, you can add one of these, maybe a gradient overlay and like change that down. It doesn't really matter, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to also add a drop shadow and this drop shadow is going to be about, this distance can be like this big and the size can be zero. And you can see it kind of creates a 3D effect around these areas, and then you can change the opacity downwards. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter, but it's always good to add detail into your work. But that's pretty much that McCree um, done. And now we have space for our text here and our, um, you know, slogan and all that. So I'm going to type in maybe with the text tool, we can type in like McCree. You can change this to any font you want. I've chosen long haul here, but you can always do different ones like long shot, you know, just download any fonts online and then use them and maybe impact Homestead. Homestead's one of my favourite fonts, but I think for now I'm gonna go with long haul. Um you can download this anywhere, just type it in online. Um but I could scale this up. You can see McCree, it says McCree. So we can drag this into the spot, right click on the layer, blending options, and wait for this to load up. And now we can add our effects. So what I like to do is add 
a stroke and make this about size five and then you can add in maybe a gradient overlay you can click on the gradient drag the black into the middle and drag the white into the middle and then drag it down a little bit and then change the opacity down like create make it pretty strong and then we're going to add in in a glow and put the size up a little bit so we got that that's our text um, we can add in now we can right click the McCree the, the, the text for McCree duplicate it and we're going to make it McCree copy that's fine we're going to drag it underneath that McCree go into blending options and take off every effect apart from stroke and then we're going to um, for now I think we should just drag it on top you see there's no effects change it all to black like this and then drag it underneath and then drag it under a little bit so it's got this 3D effect now you can add your slogan like Overwatch type in Overwatch you know, whatever you want like gaming at its finest you know just stuff like that whatever you really want um, I was going to say it doesn't matter but it does matter because it needs to intrigue your audience in so we're going to do this and I think one of the things we can do Right, um, double click on this so it's all like highlighted and change the text out like this and then make the text lower like a bit lower now, and then just put it under our text and um, carry on doing the long text thing it's whatever looks good for you then I think we'll just add in a simple Stroke, maybe? I mean, you don't have to add anything. I'm just going to add a gradient overlay and do that thing where you put them both into the middle. Yeah, I, I think, I'm, look, I'm digging the style of this. Digging it, yeah. Yeah, I like the look at the style of this. Inner glow, maybe. Change the size up. Yeah, I like the look of that. Um, you know, it's not really, it's not really in order for me, but you could change the size, do this, and you've got a awesome Overwatch thing. I actually like the look of this. If I was to, um, like, have the choice to use this, I would probably use this, but I don't want to use it, just, you know, because I want you guys to use it. But anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. I know it's a bit of a long video, but I really like doing banners. It's, like, it's really fun to do. Um, also feel free just to do any other things with the banner. You don't have to stick with this. Um, you can change this up to anything you want. You know, I'm gonna add maybe a stroke here. Yeah, I like it like that. Um, so that's the end of the video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe. More videos coming on the way. Um, and I'll see you next time. Peace.